bridge is over a hundred years old and it's gone through different phases. It started out as a suspension bridge and then it was a, a steel bridge as it is today. However, there was a wood deck on it. And back, I believe, in the mid-40s, the wood deck was removed and a concrete deck was placed on it. Originally, it had two railroads running over the top of it, but uh, due to its age, they necked it down to one. No trucks go over the bridge, only vehicular traffic. This project is part of three bridges that are managed by the Niagara Falls Bridge Commission, the Rainbow Bridge, the Whirlpool Bridge, and the Lewiston-Queenston Bridge. And back in the early 2000s, the Niagara Falls Bridge Commission decided that they were going to remove the lead from the three bridges and recoat them to preserve them in their, in their condition that they are today. The lead is all removed and uh, four coats of paint have been uh, put on. The Bridge Commission is very satisfied. The project came in slightly under budget. The entire country is behind in their infrastructure repairs. Many of our roads and bridges are very deteriorated and it seems like when funds get slim the first thing that goes is maintenance and uh, you know people like to build new things and have a ribbon cutting but in reality if we don't maintain our infrastructure uh, we're gonna we're, we are in deep trouble and it not only repairs the infrastructure but it puts people back to work it puts suppliers back to work. It's a far-reaching goal for us to maintain our, our infrastructure. I found since I've been with Urban, it seems like they've always had work going on. And I firmly believe it's the people that Urban has working for them in the Buffalo office that uh, propagates the work. I think that's the best marketing tool a company can have to have good, dedicated workers that will serve the client.